Welcome back, young mathematicians! Our lesson for today is ordinal numbers. Still with me, teacher Eunice. Here are our goals for today. At the end of this session, you are expected to know what ordinal numbers are, read the ordinal names of symbols, and identify the order or position of an object from a point of reverence. Ready? Yes, you are. Now let's talk about ordinal numbers. Say it with me. Ordinal numbers. Great. From the word order, this means that these numbers tell the order or rank of an object from a point of reference. Now, these are the words that you really need to take note of. Can you say after me? Order. Rack. A point of reference. Great job! Now, here are the ordinal symbols that we usually see or use. If you've seen this before, then you are already familiar. But if not, that's okay. Now, these symbols have names. They are like words that are spelt. Let's read their names. After me, first. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Some more. Read after me. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th. Good work, everyone! Now this time, we will put it into practice. What we have here? The five Salazar siblings. And we all know that ordinal numbers must, must have a point of reference. Or we also call it starting point. Say it with me. Starting point. So it can either be left or right. But this time we will use the left side as our starting point or point of reference. Can you raise your left hand? Great! So, we have here from the left, Teddy, Bobby, Alex, Gabby, and CJ. Tell me, who is the first sibling from the left? That's Teddy. Still from the left, who is the third sibling? You got it right. Alex is the third sibling from the left. How about this? Who is the fifth sibling from the left? I bet you got it right. That is CJ. Great job, everyone. This time, let's practice some more. This time, let us check Johnny's schedule. He has a list of everything that he does every day. From the topmost part of this sheet to the bottommost. All right, let's read from top to bottom. First, he wakes up. 
and then he takes a bath. So of course, he gets stressed and eats his breakfast. Then he attends online classes, and lastly, he does his homework. Now, from the top, which is the first activity that Johnny does every day? Yup, he wakes up. Great. Now, what is the fourth activity that he does every day? Let's find out. You are correct. He eats his breakfast. Now, what is the sixth thing that he does every day? Correct. He does his homework. Great job, Johnny. And you too for helping out. This time, let's check out our friends in Thankful Street. Our point of reference is the right. This is our starting point. Can you raise your right hand? Great job! So this street has a total of how many houses? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve houses. And from the right, we have Sam's house first. And skip one, then comes Saints. Skip another one, then comes Kai's. Skip one, and then comes Claire's. And then skip one, we have Anthony's house. Skip two, we have Johnny's house at the end. Now, from the right, which house is the first? Yep, you got it right. It's Sam's house. What about the third house from the right? That is Zane's house. Great. Which is the fifth house from the right? Hmm. It's Kai's. Great. And hmm, how about the seventh? That's Claire's. Can you now tell me? From the right. What is the order of Anthony's house? Yes, that's the ninth house from the right. And what is the order of Johnny's house from the right? Yeah, the twelfth house. Great job! Lastly, let's find out here in the Patience Avenue. The position of the vehicles from the left. Can you raise again your left hand? Left. Great job. Now, can you tell me from the left, which is the first vehicle, including the helicopter? Oh, yes. You're right. It's the up the first. Now, which is the third vehicle from the left? Mm-hmm. That's the yellow car. Great. How about the fourth from the left? Yep. That's the one. How about mm, the fifth from the left? Yes, it's the black car. What is the sixth? The school bus, correct. And last is the blue van, seven. Congratulations, you did great today. Now let's recap. Today we learned what ordinal numbers are, we also read the names of the ordinal symbols, and we identify the order or position of an object 
from a point of reference or starting point. And that's it for our lesson today. Thank you so much. I hope that you liked this video. To know more about math, you may click subscribe. I'd like to see you soon. Bye!